Welcome to Let's Treasure That. I'm Jill. Today, we're going to talk about ER11 collets. Uh, in the machine shop, they don't get used overly often, perhaps. Maybe not in our machine shops in, say, North America, because primarily we use Imperial uh, Standard. But metric is really infiltrating simply because we want to make tools, say, for example, a cutoff tool and the inserts that go in them are all made in metric so we're having to adapt so how do you do that without spending a whole slew of money uh, in order to get these metric uh, end mills etc into your round column mill like one that i've got behind me right there right there <laughs> all right so let's get in with the camera a little bit and let's go into this and see how we can circumvent the extra costs associated with the conversion. Let's start with the fact that we're having to use some metric end mills to, you know, for example, mill some of these contours or drill, you know, etc. So, for example, this here cutoff tool uh the measurements are metric in here so you really to do a good job you need to use metric end mills and then that's all right and it's not a problem but nevertheless if you don't have the tools how do you get around all this so do you buy a whole bunch of chucks etc well maybe you don't have to okay i was about to make a whole er11 uh, chuck system to go in my, my r8 column mill but I don't think I have to. So uh, to do this tool, I need to use all of these. And I've got a whole accoutrement <laughs> of uh, R8 adapters and collets. Okay, so you want to use little metric end mills in your R8 Bridgeport type milling machine. So let's look at the cost of this thing, okay? So let's say you've got a whole bunch of these. So that's great. And they're all Imperial. Now these sets of ER11 collets, I mean, they're tiny, look at this, all right? Well, they are cheap, like dirt cheap. This is 25 bucks for all of this. And this uh, chuck for ER11, which goes in my CNC machine, is $12, right? So I took it out of my my CNC machine just to show you, but I ordered one just so that I could have it here in the shop. And so I was gonna make something like this to fit in my R8 collet. But lo and behold, 16 millimeters is ever so slightly above 5 eighths. Look at this, put that in there, done, right? Now I can use the R11 collets in my mill. Well, duh, I'm not gonna make one. I mean, it wouldn't take a whole lot of time, but still, if I can save the time and this is gonna work just fine, I'm just gonna use this. So uh, that's the advantage of checking things out. So I just measured the diameter of this, the base of this chuck, and that was it. So for 37 bucks, I'm gonna have a fully functional metric system to hold these little tiny bits in my milling machine. So that's my tip of the day to you. Don't, uh, don't fret, it is possible and you don't have to spend a fortune doing it, all right? So in recap, this is an R8 5 8 of an inch collet. This is an ER11 chuck that fits because it's 16 millimeters. Voila, fits right in there, right? And then you'll be able to put whatever collar you want that you have, size that you have, and put it in there, tighten it up, and you are good to go, all right? So I hope that little tip was helpful to you. Uh, please like and subscribe and shoot me a comment. I always love to hear from you. Take care. Bye-bye.